Sergio Ferreira. I, I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. Well, I think they they done quite a few improvements. It's a, a big step forward. And once again, what I like it more, it's the sign that they are giving to the customers that Informix database is alive and well, and it's gonna keep be improved. So what do you think of Tita? I think it's awesome that IBM sees so much potential with the IDS product and that they're putting so much resources and effort and bringing out with new releases. It's amazing. It can't, I can't imagine how such a great product can get better. Oh, my name is Andrew Ford and I work for our Network IP. We're a telecom company based out of Longview, Texas. It's good. It's cool. I like a lot of the new features. And I think it's really good that IBM is like uh, investing all the time and money into like extending the product into like a new version. So soon, it's only been two years since version 11, version 10 came out. So it really shows their dedication to the product. Bonjour Daniel. Bonjour. Cheetah is the new version that will will bring will bring a new momentum. It's a really amazing new new product, new features. Uh, I believe that this will bring momentum to Informix and the Informix product line and hopefully this will bring back, this confirms IBM's commitment to Informix and will bring back uh, some of the long-time Informix customers that may have gone uh, to competing technologies. Uh, yes, I've heard of Cheetah. And what do you think of Cheetah? I uh, haven't had any experience with Cheetah. I've, uh, the things that I've heard of uh, sound very good for us. Um, there's a lot of things that I think we'll be able to put to use. Uh, some of them are some of the mon new monitoring stuff, stuff that they've put in there. Uh, possibly some of the new replication features that they've included and they've mentioned at this conference. Um, and uh, the availability pieces, uh, the, the checkpoint, no checkpoints, um, or the very lightweight checkpoints. I don't know what they're referring to it as from from a marketing perspective. Um, oh, really excited about it. I'm excited for a couple of reasons. One, it looks as though technically it's a very big release of Infomax, but more importantly, I'm just excited that IBM is behind the product, is really taking the product to the marketplace, is putting money behind it for promotion, for advertising, and, and making this a big thing, because um, Infomax is a, it's a secret, very much. And, and both inside IBM and inside the bulk of the development world, but it's a fantastic product and people need to know about it and use it. We work for the Pennsylvania Continuing Legal Education Board in Pennsylvania, of course. Uh, actually looking forward to the possibility of incorporating the XML features of Cheetah. We have uh, uh, some providers who do some XML files and we do electronic file submission. And if they want to send them an XML, that'll give us another option of hopefully getting that data into our database. Speed increase is always a good thing too. I'm Paul Watson. I own and run a number of companies um, around on in it, uh, in England and Scotland, and now in America. Um, our experience of it to date has been it's stunning, and it is a significant improvement over version 10. Oh, it's a very fast animal, and if you're talking about IDS 11, <coughs> I'm testing IDS 11 on the closed beta since we started testing it. I think it's a huge improvement over IDS 10. Uh, IDS 10 was a DBA's dream come true. IDS 11 is beyond our wildest dreams. We are Laurie 1 and Laurie 2 and we're from Utah and we're both IDS users. I'm excited I haven't tried it here, but I'm excited to try it as soon as I get back. I'm looking forward to XML capabilities and the changing of no blocking checkpoints and the expanded um, archiving capabilities with Ante. Archive to directories. This so is you, good. And the new replication stuff as well. Hello from California. My name is Jerry Hamilton. The cheetah's one fast cat, baby. If you're not running with the fast cat, don't even get in the race. Cheetah is great, and uh, it, it was uh, 
it was a, a, a very good step for, for, the, for the ideas. My name is Nancy Balsba and I've worked with Informix for, wow, about 15 years now, uh, since about 92. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really great product. We're really excited about it and we're really specifically interested in the non-blocking checkpoints. So that is your preferred cheetah feature? Yeah, I think so. That's probably one of the ones that's going to be a big hitter for us. My name is Daryl Priest and for 10 years I've worked with um, Informix. I love cheetah. I like cheetahs. I like cats. But I really like Informix cheetah. It looks like the administration stuff has been fixed, technically, saying stuff, with uh, a nice, full-function, administrative, GUI interface on the web. So is that your favorite Cheetah feature? I think it probably has to be, because it will wow everybody. And what would be your favorite Cheetah feature? Uh, you know, the biggest thing that has jumped out at me so far about Cheetah when I've sat down with the engineering guys is the IDS administration tool, to be honest. I haven't had a chance to give Cheetah a test run yet, but everything they've been saying is pretty interesting. But what I've seen the most and that I've liked the most is the new administration tool. The best feature I've seen from Cheetah is the ability to self-tune the instance, where we can not have to have hands-on at, at our very disparate client sites and have IDS or Cheetah self-tune itself to the loads of that particular of that particular instance. Now that's a big thing for us because we're the we're the DBA for all of our clients. And if we can DBA it without having to hand tune each individual place, that's that's just huge for us. My preferred cheetah feature from what I understand I would say would probably uh, a lot of the metrics piece and the, well I got to check the checkpoints and the metrics collection that they were included in. Well for there's a there's a lot of them but one of them that stands out is the the improvements that they've made in the on tape utility which is really awesome for the small to medium sized market people who don't have a lot of backup functionality the on tape the simple little hardy on tape utility can can really do the I think uh, the remote standalone secondary servers pretty cool because in our environment we have HDR currently configured where we have the primary engine and the secondary engine uh, both in the same facility So because we do a lot of failovers for maintenance from time to time. And if there was a failure um, it would be nice and it will be nice to have a third server in a different data center in Los Angeles. So if we do have a catastrophic event take out our entire data center in Longview uh, we can quickly move everything to LA. My favorite cheetah feature is non blocking checkpoints. Third cheetah feature for me will be the uh, autonomic tuning uh, and administration free database, in that uh, customers who do not necessarily have. Uh, a lot of Informix expertise can rely on a very strong technology uh, that's very easy to use and very easy to administer. That's hard. We've heard yeah. too many good features today. It's hard to choose. I'd have to think about that for a while. It's the old back stuff because I always needed to have row level permissions in the applications and normally I implemented inside the applications, but the people that have SQL access never, i never been able to run with that problem. And what is your favorite Cheetah feature? From where we deal and the customers deal, probably the configurable footprint. Recovery and uh, better better administration. That's that's the most important.